Hey everyone, this is Daniel. In uh, today's video, we will create a snail mount with the help of a few polylines and splines. Using spot levels, we will create uh, 3D lines or ridge lines and finally model the surface, which will contain an alley from the bottom to the top of the mount. And finally, generating a mesh out of the land surface. So I have a couple of pretty fine lines, a few for uh, the alley, which will go from uh, the bottom to the top. I will use these lines to create the ridge lines. In the 3D view, we can't see uh, anything yet because all these objects are 2D objects. I also have placed a couple of uh, help lines, which will help me to place uh, or interpolate spot levels along and build the alley. So I will start by creating the top of the mount using a contour line and I'll place it at 10 meters. So this will be the top of our mount and then I will do the same and create a contour line at 5 meters for the bottom. Now that I have transformed the polylines into ridge lines we can see them in the 3D view and now we have the top and the bottom of the cone. Now I can already create the surface using only these two elements. So this will be basically our mount. Now I need to construct the alley with the help of the lines. So I will use the middle line which I'm on purpose I created there because I would like to use it to interpolate other spot levels for the sides. Then uh, in this way I can make sure I have the same height um, along the alley. So I will start by uh, using the gravity tool, placing a couple of spot levels. So I will define the first line uh, where it will stop and the second and that will be matching the, the top ridge line of the mount. Now I can start placing spot levels uh, using the middle line and the help lines. This way I can uh, make sure I'm following the pattern of the alley. So I now have spot levels along the alley in the middle and from these ones I can interpolate the edges of the alley. Here I can see where one of the lines end. I'll make sure it, it's uh, fitting with the model. And I will place manually a spot level here at 5 meters because that's where it meets the, the contour line at the bottom. So I want my, my alley to meet the bottom and I'll do the same with the other one. So I can manually, manually add these spot levels because I know the level would be at 5 meters at the bottom. Now I have um, the middle line or the spot levels along the middle line and now I can start creating the spot levels um, left and right ba basically on both sides of the, the middle and I will use uh, an interpolation for this with a zero fall therefore I have um, I'm just translating the spot levels from the middle to the sides so I don't need to add them manually and now I will just place the spot levels along the whole alley till the bottom of the mount So once I'm done placing the spot levels on the sides of the alley using the middle, I can now start uh, deleting the spot levels in the middle, which initially I used to interpolate the other ones. So once I have deleted the spot levels in the middle, which I used to build the uh, alley edges, I can now start deleting also the help lines 
the orange ones, which I use to replace the spot levels in some specific locations. And I can also delete the surface. And now I can create the ridge line using these spot levels. Now both of my ridge lines are created, so I can visualize them in the 3D view. And as you can see, it's an alley which follows the cone shape from the bottom to the top. And I created these ridge lines using the shape of the initial cone. So now that all my features are ready, I can finally create the land surface. So I use the magic wand, all the elements have been selected and in the 3D view we can now see the surface containing the alley which follows the cone shape from the bottom to the top. Now that I have the surface available I can go into the land surface settings and place the surface material. I can also add some level lines for half meter, every half meter. So now that the snail mount is done, I can always bring edits to it. So I can add, for instance, uh, another spot level on the top at 10 meters and a half and add it to the surface. I can also edit the spot level in the 3D and simply drag it up and then the surface will update. And once I have the land surface available, I can always transform it into a mesh. Now I will move the mesh on the side. And now we can see them both in the 3D view. So this was a short video on how to construct a snail mount using Landfor tools. For more videos, visit our YouTube channel or landforcat.com.